Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics, and on today's video, I got this 2004 Mazda 3 right behind me. So the issue with this Mazda 3 is that the instrument cluster lights aren't working, and as well, the tail lights aren't working. So on today's video, how about we try to figure this problem and try to get this vehicle back on the road? All right, so we're inside the vehicle right now. And like I said, customer's complaint right here, these little indicators, they do work. The only thing is whenever he turns this on right here, the little lights inside, which illuminate the, the numbers, RPM and all that, that does not work. I don't know if you can tell right there, but you should see a little bit of difference. Let's see, I'm gonna go on and off we do not see nothing let's just go a little bit closer see if we can find that nothing no change at all all right and let's look at the rear lights right here so i'm gonna have a picture and picture on the top and check this out i'm gonna go from on and off and nothing now, what I really want to do, I want to get out a wiring diagram and we're going to look at the circuitry and see what's wrong with this. We're going to see if we can try to pinpoint the problem and see if we can fix it up. All right, so we have our wiring diagram right here. And as you can see, this is for the exterior lamp circuit. And what I want to look for right here, it's going to be the right tail light and the left tail light. And what is going to be powering this up? If we go up here, we have some fuses tail light L, tail R, and then after that, we're gonna have a relay, which is the T and S relay. All right, and this does branch off to exterior lights. So I did a little bit more research, and if we go to our power distribution right here, we can see there's a T and S relay and it's gonna feed the tail light uh, left, tail light uh, right, and then this illumination fuse. And I can guarantee you right here, this is the illumination fuse for the instrument cluster. <sighs> so what we can do to start off with, we can go ahead, get our test light, and then we can test these fuses out and then verify if they're working or if they're blown, what's going on. And then after that, we can start um, attacking this right here and then verifying what's the power feed to this TNS relay and so on. So let's go to the, to this, let me see, passenger junction box on the passenger side and let's check this out. Let's see what we find out. All right, this is where our fuse box lives and this is how it came in. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you see this, we have a rigged up relay just kind of flopping right here. This is how it was. I did contact the customer and he told me that when he bought this vehicle, this is how it came with these wires just kind of being jumped with to this fuse right here. Oh, this does not look good. All right, uh, let's find the fuse for this tail light. And I can probably guarantee it's gonna be something with this. And let's get our trusty so we're gonna get our little test light and we're gonna just verify. We're just gonna hit another fuse, okay? So we can see that it works. Make sure that your key is in the on position. Now we have to look for this right here. Uh, tail right and tail left. Okay, so there's gonna be some 7.5 fuse right there. So we have tail and illuminating right there as well. And let's see, where's the other one? And we gotta look for the tail right. Tail right is right there. And I can tell you right now, the tail right's on the top side, and guess what? We have a wire there, and tail left is over here, and guess what? We have another wire there. So we have our key on the on position, and now we're just gonna touch the legs right here nothing and what about the other side <laughs> absolutely nothing illumination nothing nothing and nothing here 
All right, I can tell you this. This right here does not look good. It looks like they kind of wired into this and they have this whole Frankenstein thing going on right here. So how about we figure out where this, let's see where it shows right here, T and S relays at, and we can try to see if we can figure this out right here. Because I can tell you one thing, it doesn't look like there's spaces for relays here, but it doesn't look like there's one there. And it might be integrated like the, the like the tipums on the Dodges. So let's go to this wiring diagram and let's see what else we can find out. All right, so I did a little bit more research and guess what? This TNS relay, it is integrated to our system right here. But right now, if we look at this power distribution, it just shows right here that we're getting our power side from diagram one, fuse re uh, sunroof relay. And if we go right here, it's coming from there. And then if we keep on going up, it's coming from a BTN. So BTN feeds all these right here. And then from there, it goes to our sunroof relay, which takes us to that. If you check that out, all right. Oh, so what I wanna do right now, let's go to this BTN fuse and that is located in our left rear engine compartment. So we're gonna find this fuse and then we're gonna start going down and then we can test these out to verify that these are working and then we can know if we have an issue right here. All right, so we're in the engine compartment right now and as you can see, another lovely wiring that uh, they did before. So this is gonna be our compartment right here. And if we open this up, we gotta look for this BNT. And let's check this out. Where are you, a 40 amp fuse? All right, B, uh, actually BTN, I keep on saying BNT. BTN, so there's our BTN. This is a 40 amp and it's laid out this way. So we're gonna see it's right there. It's gonna be one, two, three, third one down, one, two, three. So we're just gonna to touch one side. All right, there's one side and let's check the other side out. All right, so our BTN fuse, that is not gonna be the issue. So now what we need to do is start going down and we can check out these fuses right here just to verify. So what I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna look at this CPU power and uh, hazard fuse and just verify if these are getting power. And after that, then we just gotta verify that our control side to our relay is actually getting, a uh, believe we gotta verify if it's a power or ground side. So let's go test out these fuses right here, make sure that there's no break between here and that we're getting our power coming down to our actual fuse box. So let's go check these out. All right, so now what I wanna check out, just to verify that this wire is good, let's check out our CPA, uh, CPU power fuse and this hazard fuse. So let's see what where these are at. We're gonna have our CPU and our hazard. So it's a 10 and 15 amp. All right, 10 and 15 amp. And I don't know if you can catch that. You can move these wires out the way. Here's our 10 amp and here's our 15. So make sure our, uh, our key is on the on position. There's our 10, let's check out both sides. All right, so they're lighting up. And here, and there, all right. Now we know that our BTN, make sure that I got that right. Yeah, the BTN fuse. So we know our BTN fuse is good. We know that it's going down here and is making its way out. So next one that we want to check, this doesn't have a sunroof, but guess what? That's what's, uh, that's what's bridging it down to our TNS relay right here. So as you can see, it's coming there. So let's just verify that. 
see that 7.5 right next right to here. There's that. And that one. All right, so now we know that our powers are good there. Now we need to verify and see what's powering our relay from our actual multi-level switch. So when we turn our, our switch over there close to the, the steering column, we want to verify what's sending a signal. It's probably going to be a ground signal because we have powers here, so that should be a, uh, a ground. So now we got to figure out which wire that is, and then we're going to check it out. So let's go to our wiring diagram, see what we find. All right, so here it goes. We're back on this wiring diagram, and as you can see, this is our TNS relay, and our control side is going to be controlled by this microcomputer. And this microcomputer, if we go down, we see that it is tied into our headlight switch right here. So as we can see, this headlight switch is going to be ground controlled. So whenever we turn our switch, we can go to this TNS, and it should send a ground signal over here to our microcomputer and it should go to our TNS relay. Well, the thing is, if this is showing the ground, our TNS relay on this one is actually integrated to our junct uh, passenger junction box. So guess what? <laughs> if we wanna change this out, we have to change out the whole system. So let's just verify and let's make sure, let's see if we can find this black and white wire. Let's verify if we have a good ground. And then after that, because we already verified that we have power, we can probably condemn this part right here. But let's see if we have a break anywhere and go from there. All right, so we gotta find this black and white wire. And God, this was so easy. I don't know if you can see this right here. They have a little buck connector and this is tied into and guess what a black and white wire right here what i want to verify is to see if we have ground right here so i'm gonna tie in we're gonna tie into this and then i'm gonna hook up our test site and we're gonna see what we get whenever we turn this so we're gonna hook up our test site to uh, the power side one end is gonna go to the power side of the battery and if this is grounded it's gonna turn this test light on so we have one end of the test light to our battery positive. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pierce this. And this is gonna be hooked up to our side right there. All right, so our headlight switch. Now let's verify this. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this. Right now we have it on the off position. And here it goes. There it goes. So it is sent, sent ground signal. So we have good control, good powers, and good grounds. I think we could get a brand new uh, junction box right there. So let's see if I can find one, and then we'll hook it in, and we'll see if we can test it out. But let's see if we can do one last test right here. I just want to verify. I'm going to put power to our fuse right here, and let's see if we have our tail lights turned on. So we're going to check that out. Uh, we have our power probe right here. I just don't want it to be making that sound the whole time. And what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put power to our tail light. And I'm just going to choose this right one right here. Here it goes. I'm just going to give it a nice little burst. There we go. All right, so this is the junk that we took out from here. This is our old little junction control box whatever you want to call it this is our relays this is what they hooked up to it check out all this crud that we have here oh god all right i did call the dealership they told me that they don't have a fuse box there so we had to go second hand well we have the second hand one on there now let's test it out let's verify if we have power to our fuses let's cross our fingers all right, so I have my test light connected to ground right now. We have our key on the on position, and I'm just gonna touch whatever fuse right here. All right, there you go, there's power. And remember, the three 7.5 fuses right here, we have, well, actually these two right here, 
And then we have the other one over here, which is gonna be, let's make sure before we start. All right, we got that one up here, 7.5, and then our illuminating and that tail. So let's check that out. Here we go. Look at that, bam, 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 bam. And let's check out this top one right here. There we go. Look at that right there. This is awesome. All right, now just to verify our fix, let's go to our cluster and let's see if the lights actually turn on and then we're gonna look at the lights in the back. Woo, I'm happy. There you go. All right, so we're checking out the cluster now and let's turn this and see what we get. <laughs> oh, look at that. Beautiful red. I didn't even know what color it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be white, but it is red. That is working. And now what I really want to check out, let's check out the rear tail lights and let's see what we get there. So here it goes. I got to put that picture in picture. Here it goes. Oh yeah. There you go. That looks like a fix to me. So if you do like this video, please throw a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that little notification bell to get all the brand new videos coming out from Miles Mechanics. And this is awesome right here. Like I said, we just did a little bit of diagnosing, used our wiring diagram, and guess what? We got this fixed up right here. No rigging or anything like that. We're going to do it the right way. So y'all take care. Goodbye.